I've made it after, I don't even know, 10 hours of traveling. I'm not even in Paris. I'm in Montreux. I think that's what they were calling it. It's a little outside of Paris. Um, but I came to a hotel here because my housing, like my school housing is near this area. So I didn't want to stay somewhere like really far from where my housing would be because like I'm checking out tomorrow. Anyway, we're here. We are here. Bienvenue. You guys. I am scared. Like, even at the airport, like, the looks of, like, contempt that these people give you are insane. Like, here's the thing I really respect, though. Paris is just, like, New York in the sense that, like, it's fast-paced. People have, like, a way of moving in the city. And if you're, like, a tourist or you're just, like, not with it, then, like, people get mad at you. Because even I get mad at people in New York when they, like, move too slow. It's, like, move out of the way. Like, you're in the way of other people. And I just really don't want to be in that position because I know what the other party is thinking of them because I've been in that position so many times. I'm really gonna try to learn the ways of Paris and like how people move here fast because I don't think I can survive under this French pressure. I'm gonna shower and nap and then and then I don't really have anything to do. I'm in Paris alone. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> It is not giving France. It's giving construction. Um, but yeah. Ooh, okay, there's... Okay, pizza place. Pizza place right there. I'ma go there. I'ma fucking go there after I nap. I took my nap. I'm starving. So I threw on an outfit. And I'm gonna try to find food around here. I move into my dorm at like 9 a.m. And just get my shit sorted. And then meet up with friends, hopefully. I didn't want to look like a doofus, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup. Just in case, you know, I meet some hot people. <laughs> I've been using Rode, and I'm not gonna lie, this is fire. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna look crazy right now. <laughs> it's lightweight, but you can also like just feel the moisturizer on your skin if that makes sense so i'm kind of happy about these products i'll try the say glowy super gel because everyone was saying how good of a product this is and i've never tried say before oh she's glowy for sure whoa <laughs> this shit's nice I just walked into my room. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, like way bigger. You walk in, then we have the bathroom. Okay, it's big, but there's no shower, like bed. Like it's literally just shower and like floor. So I think everything's gonna get wet. This is a little bathroom, just have a mirror. Oh, thank God, I can put my products. You have a little shelf, closet, Okay, there's a little safe. Big cl who, what, what, who is that gonna be enough for, respectfully? Then we have a little desk. Okay, homework girl. The bed, <laughs> they couldn't have made it a little bit bigger, like there's this, all this room. I think this is like storage. Slay, okay, this is good. Let me show you some progress. Honestly, done with this one and this one. Honestly, I think I packed the perfect amount. Like, I have a feeling everything's gonna fit just fine. I finished. I fucking unpacked everything. So I think my friends and I are gonna meet up and go to this place called Monoprix. Honestly, if we're gonna come to NYU Paris, try to opt out of housing. <laughs> like, just if you can, if you have any family, like, I don't care if they're like your fucking fifth cousin, like try to get in contact with them and just opt out of housing if you can. If that's a possibility, do it. <laughs> Cause I know it's just gonna be like a bitch like going to the city every single day. It's kind of like when I lived in Hudson Yards in New York, it was just like a bitch to get places. I'm excited, it's like, it's like exciting. Like I'm gonna live in this room for like four months. I should buy like cute, Decor. I want to go to like flea markets and get like decorations there. 
Okay, I'm gonna FaceTime my mom and just like show her the room, tell her I'm like settled in, and then I'll go to my friend's building and then we'll meet up, go to the department store, get some knickknacks and whatnot. Mind cleanser and the psychoplast bomb that everyone raves about. It's kind of small though. Yo! <laughs> There's nothing in there. <laughs> Had my day in Paris at 6 p.m. I'm doing, oh my God, let me let me do a little haul. I got some essentials that I was lacking. I got a loofah, gotta be clean. Scissors, because I need that. <laughs> I got Q-tips, because I didn't bring any. I got a pillowcase, because the one I have is so fucking hard and it's so gross. But I'm now just realizing that like I should probably wash this before I put it on. But like, am I really gonna go and do a load of laundry? I bought hand soap because we didn't have that. And I bought a towel because I need a shower. See, like I also need to wash this. <laughs> Bro, why would they do this? Why would they do this? Look, look, at, look at how they close the scissors. Why do you think I'm buying scissors? Because I need to cut things like this. How? Bro, that was, this, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. How the fuck am I supposed to get those scissors out of there? If I'm buying scissors. I did it though. Oh, she's transformed into Gretel. I was too lazy to go to the laundry room and do laundry for like such a small load that I air dried my body and put a shirt over my pillow so that my face doesn't get scratched by this stupid ass pillowcase. If you live in Europe, you need to get this fucking snack because I love it so much. It was literally the first thing I did when I got to France. I bought Pims. And yeah, I'm gonna watch Suits and eat this and go to sleep. Peace out, Girl Scouts. See you tomorrow for orientation, bright and early at fucking 9 a.m. I need to go because I'm running so late, but quick little, Outfit check. Okay, peace out. <laughs> My makeup is eating. Yo, I feel like I'm living in a castle. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Anyway, today's orientation day. I woke up actually on time, but I was still kind of late. I mean, I'm not late, I'm just rushing. I'm going to my friend's dorm, we're gonna meet up and go to Oregon Kitchen. The amount of fucking rocks in my shoe right now is insane. We just left orientation, we have like an hour break. So we came to a cafe to get coffee and breakfast. It's really good. I got a cappuccino. <laughs> I think it's like cocoa. Or Wait, that looks oh, so good. <laughs> wow, beautiful. <laughs> I love that they gave us such little cheese. I know. These are the vibes. This is real time vibes. And then we're going to this place for dinner Friday night. <laughs> yeah, we had like this wellness orientation and like the orientation leader literally was like, yeah, like don't get your hopes up. Like have a low expectations because like you're going to be disappointed. And we're like, oh, okay. Oh my God, our food is here. Merci. Bon. Keep in mind, we kind of had lunch already. <laughs> okay, no, we didn't. That was breakfast. That was breakfast. Ourselves. What are they suing us for? They with someone in mind, but we need a way to get those witnesses to go for it. No, Mike. getting ready 
Orientation day two. Today the orientation is meeting with our academic advisors and then having a language workshop. I don't know why, even in like high school, like my language class was my like least favorite class to go to because our teacher would cold call on us and I was never confident in my French. And it wasn't even about like, oh, like people are gonna judge me for not knowing. Like I didn't even know anyone in the class. Like I didn't care about the class. It's just like, I judge myself. <sighs> and there's a lot to do. And first day of class starts Friday and I'm scared shitless. This is what I'm wearing. I love the thumb hole. These are from Subi. And then my gazelles. Ta-da! Okay, I've had a very hectic morning because I missed the train. So then I had to Uber to school because the next train wasn't coming for like another 20 minutes and I was already late. Whatever, second day of orientation. I went to like my first two meetings and this shit is so stupid and pointless. They just repeat the same information over and over again as if like it's not written in every single email they've sent and then they make these meetings mandatory when it's like bro like it's a waste of time i think it's raining <sighs> it's definitely raining Fuck. after several hours i finally found a spot that i sat at i ordered a very french breakfast Kitchen. Um, and then here everyone has their personal fridges. You have like some seating areas, the kitchen area, and then you got the view of the park. Although you can't really see anything, it's really just trees. <laughs> and someone left their little book. Do you want to read it? King Rat. We're heating up our pizzas. <laughs> Start. Wait. You know, I was actually thinking about buying a plant for my room. Like a live one? <laughs> <laughs> the way she spat. I literally spat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you slowing down? Mine is cold. Oh. Mm -hmm. so cold pizza is better than hot. Yeah. Break lines, red lights, hold hands, grip tight, play fights, your lips still taste like Mickey sweet tea. Who wants to try to finish eating dinner? I came home, took a little shower, cleaned up my room a little, dealt with like my orientation schedule and like tomorrow's first day of classes, all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to go to bed early tonight because. I have a 9 a.m. and my commute is half an hour, so I need to get up pretty fucking early. So I'll see you bright and early. First day of class. We're all walking to class. <laughs> we're such scholars. Our building is like right there, and then this is like the area that we're in. It's so beautiful, it's very magnificent. Been a long year, pour the glass out to the ones that ain't here by choice. I wasted it all up, this ain't love, no rabbit's foot. I got this thing wrapped up. You girls should have rap, but if they asked us, master, no clue who it was, didn't see it coming. Behind you with the kids. <laughs> I'm doing a haul of everything I got at IKEA, so if you're moving into like a dorm, you kinda know what you should get. I got this little basket for food. I got another like little box just to put on my bedside table. I bought a little white mat for my bathroom. I got this little like wiper, swiper, whatever this is called. Because as you saw my bathroom, like my shower doesn't have floors. So because this room is a little depressing and there's like not a lot of color, I wanted to get some like light green bed sheets. 
I got a little throw pillow. It's like light pink. There's like this pack of 10 hand towels, which was cheaper than like buying a single towel. So I got this 10 pack. I got another pillow because the one they gave is really uncomfortable. I got a little mirror for my desk because I like to do my makeup sitting down. I only got a few big hangers, like these wooden ones for my coats. Cause like they're a little heavier. I got this little hamper. I got a lint roller and then a little scrub. Went to Uniqlo. I got this really cute cardigan and I've been wanting something like this for a minute. She's just like a black button up cardigan. I got it in a large so it fits oversized and it's like the perfect fit. I also got this red sweater from the men's section. It's like kind of a turtleneck. That's my haul. We're going out tonight. We're not going out like clubbing. We're just gonna get dinner and drinks. And we're going to leave here at like 7.30. It's currently 5 p.m. I'm going to clean all this shit up. And then I think I'm going to take a nap, shower, get ready. And then hit the town. Bonjour, Reach. Bonjour. I'm wearing a really cute outfit, although only half of it is on my body. Joie or joy, but I got it off the real real. This black tank top from Joan Brown. Skirt is from Solato. And then... Shoes are also from the real real, but they're a redone brand. Who is blowing up my telephone? We're gonna go out to the Marais and like I said, grab dinner and drinks with my friends. I'm loving my hair, it's like a curly, messy bun. I finally learned how to like style my curly hair after two decades of not knowing how to and now I really like it. So. If you have curly hair and you always feel like obligated, or not obligated, but like obliged. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, if you just feel the need to like straighten your hair to like look put together, trust me, you just need leave-in conditioner and you should use the K18 repair mask because that's what I've been doing. Or the Living Proof Frizz Erasing um, Mask. Both are really, really good. I'll link them down below. Anyway. I'm gonna go out party with my friends. <laughs> Let's kick off the weekend, shall we? It's the next day. I just wanted to end the vlog and say thank you for watching. I had such an insane intense week and it was so fun to just like bring you guys along and like see how i'm moving in adjusting to paris obviously i'm going to be vlogging a lot more this semester since like there's so much to show you and it's honestly nice because although yes i have friends here like i am here by myself and having like a camera that i can talk to really feels like i have like a person and like a friends that I can just like share anything with and so I'm so grateful for that um but yeah I love you guys um I hope you enjoyed it see you see you next time I'm out <laughs>